Hey everyone, Steve from Flight Brothers here, and today I'm going to check out this version 7 Mini PDB from Diatone. Now, this is a stackable Mini PDB, so it has your standard 30.5 millimeter mount, so you can stack it along with your nays right in the middle of your frame. And if you do do that, this has a great layout for making a nice, neat build. If you got your battery output on one side, and then at each corner you have a positive and negative for each of your four ESCs to run to, which makes for a nice, easy, clean way to run all your wires. Also, you have these extra pads on this side, which are battery voltage out, which make for a nice place to hook up your battery monitoring to your flight controller rather than you know tapping into the side of any of these other pads along with your battery or ESC wires. Now, along with the layout, we've got a lot of great features here. Now, this board is packed with two switching BECs, as opposed to your traditional linear BECs, which aren't very efficient and really don't work well if you give it a higher voltage input. This board can take up to six cell input, and it can output up to 20 amps continuous on each of the ESC outputs and I believe it'll take up to a 30 amp burst. So you know, unless you're running really hard a long time you should have no trouble with amp output on this board. Now these switching BCs are Unlike a traditional linear BC, they're much more efficient. They handle the higher power better. Um, but the only thing to be aware of is that they can sometimes cause some interference. Uh, a linear BC is not as efficient, but it's a little bit cleaner sometimes. So it's kind of a trade-off. Some people prefer linears only. Some people prefer switching. The switching also provide a more consistent uh, output and voltage that doesn't vary with uh, you know when it's under load or anything like that it stays much more consistent and another thing about these BECs is that we have this diode right here which is TVS protection which is just protection over any kind of voltage spikes or things like that that might damage any of your components hooked up to the BECs so these BECs are outputting up here we've got five volts out and these BCs are both two amp output so this five volt uh, output is going to go to your flight controller your receiver you might use it for something like a uh, OSD or something like that and you got plenty of headroom for it uh, a flight controller typically only out only draws about a hundred milliamps your receiver you know maybe 50 milliamps you're not powering any servos or anything typically on a quadcopter so you got plenty of headroom there, plenty of current to provide the power you need to those things. And over here you've got your 12 volt out. Also again it's rated for a 2 amp uh, current through this 12 volt BEC. So again plenty of power for LEDs and maybe some other things you might run off your 12 volts. Uh, just a note, if you're running a 3 cell setup, typically you do not use the 12 volt BC because it's going to wind up being a little lower than 12 volts since you're only putting a little bit over 12 volts into it with a 3 cell battery. So if you're going to power any 12 volt accessories with 3 cell, you can go back, use these pads here if you'd like, and just get battery voltage out. Down here is another nice feature. You've got your camera and VTX outputs plus you can even run the video signal through here if you want to that would be the video in from the camera video out to your uh, VTX the nice thing here though is that you can also choose which voltage you want to go to each component by bridging these little pads here if you bridge these two pads with a little solder then you're going to get a 12 volt output so let's say you have a nice CCD camera or something that works best on 12 volts you can bridge that and you're going to get 12 volts out to your camera if you got a little Pico cam or some really mini cam that works best on 5 volts well you can bridge this here and you're going to get 5 volts out to your camera or if you're running a uh, 12 volt uh, 3 cell setup and you want to just get battery voltage to your camera, you can do that right here. On the VTX, same two options. If you're running anything over 3 cells and you want to give it a nice clean 12 volts to your VTX, you can go ahead and bridge this these pads here for 12 volts. Or if you're running a 3, three cell setup, you can bridge this for 
battery voltage out and you'll get a nice uh, battery voltage right out of these pads. Now, with all those features, I just want to double check all these outputs. So I'm going to go ahead and solder an XT60 onto it, and I'm going to go ahead and check all the voltage outputs on these BCs to make sure they're doing what they say they do. All right, I'm back. I'm about to plug in a four cell battery into my uh, uh, PDB here to check the voltages. This uh, battery is up to 16 and a half volts, so it's a pretty much fully charged four cell battery. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and we're gonna check all these BEC outputs. All right. Now, one thing I uh, am noticing right away I didn't really realize is that we actually have some LEDs uh, right here on the 12 volt and the 5 volt out, just to show that they're working, I guess. <coughs> All right, so let's go first and check out the 5 volt BC on the top. Uh, putting right at 5.25. That's not too bad. All right, and we'll check the 12 volt out. It is outputting right at, sorry about the wire, right at 12.11 if you caught that. So that's nice and clean. All right, and then we're going to just check at the bottom how this how this comes out. So I'm looking down at the bottom down here. Um, these top ones are the voltage pins, and then the bottom ones are the ones that are connected directly to here. So when you bridge these, we get the voltages. So I'm going to check them with my positive lead on these top ones here and my negative lead right there. So for 12 volts out on the camera. Let's just see how she works. 12 volts out on the camera, I expect to be the same as the, there you go, 12.11, same as the uh, BC output on top. 12, uh, five volts out from the camera, definitely working there, and battery voltage out, 16.44, all right, excellent. And then same thing over on the, uh, VTX side, you've got your 12 volt out and we've got battery voltage out. So all those are working just as they should. So my uh, overall impression here, I really like all the features. I really like the layout. I think you're gonna get a nice clean output on these. Uh, I, I have not tested this in flight or in use yet, but I am going to put it onto my next build and I can let you all know how it works. Um, I usually do not use uh, LC filters on my camera just for the sake of checking out if I'm getting nice clean power from the PDB. So uh, I can report that on my version five diatone PDB that I just built into my ZMR 250. I was getting very clean output to my VTX and it wasn't having any noticeable interference. So that was promising. Now those are linear BCs. These are switching BCs. So we'll see if it makes any sort of difference at all. And I'll keep you updated on that. But again, overall, liking all the features, liking the layout, I'm excited to give it a shot in my next build. So thanks for watching. Share this video with anyone who uh, might find it useful. And certainly uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like it. Thanks a lot.